Welcome to Busy Central Launch Event 2025, Release Wave 1. Now I will show you new, completely new functionality in sustainability as we decided to extend functionality inside the uh, sustainability features with automation of scope 3, or let's call this value chain. Uh, this uh, feature will be covered with a few different sessions uh, in this busy central launch event. So I will start with value chain in transfer orders. Okay, what is about? If you look what we had previously related to sustainability, we could use sustainability journal from this wave general journal as well, or from previous wave purchase invoice or create memo to enter all this information into sustainability ledger entry so we can use emissions for reporting all scopes about environmental impact. So this is for official reporting CSRD on other rules. But now with new feature, we added additional scope. So now we have sustainability value entries. So this is something new, and we want to track the same way as we are tracking uh, costs with the value entries. Now we have sustainability value entries. What we have there? We have inbound emissions in this moment only from items. So we, in this moment, we do not support item charge. This is something what will come next wave. So this is the complete functionality value chain is in this moment public preview. So we need to extend a few more things next wave. But so you can track uh, your emissions related to one specific item with your purchase document. Then additional, you can have additional impact on these values, these sustainability values from transfer order, assembly order, production order. So you can produce, you can calculate new values for your new finished goods, for example. And once when you have all these impact with all these changes with um, emissions, total emissions, all of them will be showed in a sales invoice. In this moment, we do not have print printouts for sales invoice, but you can find this information on your sales invoice or post sales invoice without any problem. So this is something what you will get. Okay, uh, let's see how it works with transfer orders. First, what I want to emphasize, it works with carbon equivalent only. So system will calculate whatever you enter all three gas emissions, system will automatically calculate to carbon equivalent and all these feature tracking with sustainability value entry will be related to carbon equivalent only. The idea is to use transfer orders as our internal transport emissions. Maybe some other reasons, but this is our primary reason because in general, BD Center doesn't have transportation module, but there's often a case that we have some internal transport because one location is one city, another location, another city. So we have internal transport from location to location. So you can use transfer order to add additional emission for specific item or items in transfer order. And when you post, you can get uh, all these details and it will increase total item emission. So emission per item. The same way as we are working with um, uh, costs with the accounts, but this is not related with the transfer orders, but you can use some other examples. What is important when you post, you will not get uh, emissions information in both of posted documents in uh, posted transfer uh, shipment receipt, so it will be on in transfer shipment. Okay, when you post, you will get sustainability value entry, as I said, with all these details, very, very similar as we had value entries. So we didn't try to reinvent the wheel. So this is the same approach as we are using for costing. What is different in this model, not only this, but uh, in, this mo um, in this moment, in this wave, we are limited only on average method. In the future, we will see on your, on your feedback if you, if you want to extend to different method, but in this moment, this is average method only. Okay, let's look how you can enable. First, you need to start with sustainability setup. You need to go to procure procurement fast up, and then you will find enable value chain tracking field. When you enable this value chain tracking field, you will get warning message. Why warning message? Because again, this is in public preview. So our suggestion will be first try it, test it in your sandbox environment. We tested, it works, but our suggestion will be because maybe you will miss some functionality, what will come in next wave. So please first try in your sandbox. But what is about enablement? Without enabling this functionality, you will not see uh, these fields 
neither in trans, uh, transport or transfer orders or some other options, but in this case in transfer orders, you will have business as usual, no difference in user experience. But when you enable, you will see new field in your transfer order. Okay, let's look for the beginning as we are starting with one item card. We just created item card and we didn't have any purchase in, uh, before that. So when you see for the first time, all default CO2 and methane and other em emissions are empty. And you want to start tracking because maybe you have something already in stock before you decided to start uh, with this functionality. So what you can do, you can enter manually all three gas emissions default, and then you can just click calculate CO2E and system will calculate so you can proceed with your further documents. But when you, from the moment when you post your purchase document, system will automatically update these values with uh, what came from your purchase, posted purchase invoice. So let's switch to purchase document. And you can see I have one purchase invoice with two items, and then you can find emission CO2, emission uh, for methane, for natrium. So you have, this is not something new, this is as we had pre previously. But what do I want to mention? Uh, when you enable this uh, value chain tracking, in this moment, when you, when you have enabled, system will post both sustainability treasure entry and sustainability value entry. If you didn't enable, and you still have emissions here on this document, system will post only sustainability ledger entry. So system will not treat sustainability value entry at all if you didn't enable this in sustainability setup. So now I can post the document, and when I post the document, I can find, in, um, find entries, both of sustainability entry, sustainability ledger entry, and new sustainability value entry. When I open sustainability value entry, I will find all these details, as I mentioned, you will see uh, sustainability value quantity, uh, what is CO2 equivalent per uh, unit. So all these details, very, very similar again, as I mentioned, with uh, standard value entry. This is the most important part. So you have uh, document type, you have uh, item number, all these details, document number, values related to uh, carbon equivalent and so. Okay, let's move back to this item I already show. Now when you look, we have updated emissions. So even we didn't run, we do not need to run calculate CO2E. So calculate CO2E action is only if you have empty values here and you want to enter manually and then to run to get carbon equivalent final uh, information. But if you're using purchase document, system will automatically fill in all these three uh, emissions and plus CO2E per unit already recalculated based on these values and emission fees. Okay, let's now switch to transfer order. When you open transfer order, again, as I said, everything is business as usual except this one new field. And again, if you didn't enable a track value chain, this field not be visible. But now as I enable, you can find total uh, carbon equivalent, and what you can do? You can enter total emissions related to this transfer. So, in this case, I have total emission of 700 kilograms of carbon equivalent, and I split this to these two lines. So, in this case, there is no an option to put something in a header, so to recalculate, you need to enter in both of lines what is their piece of carbon emissions. So, when you enter here, and post the documents, everything will be finished, everything posted, and when you open post the transfer shipment and go to find entries, again, you can find sustainability value entries. What you can see here, there is no sustainability ledger entry because sustainability ledger entry is related only with incoming emissions, not internal. So we have only sustainability value entry. When we open sustainability value entry, you can see these two new lines, and in both of lines, you will see CO2E per unit. What is specific here? Other values related to items are negative because this is shipment. But as related to shipment, we have increasing. So uh, quantity is decreasing in a shipment, but with shipment, emission is increasing. So this is in a plus. This is positive value. So you have per unit. Var per unit because we had 100 previously for first line, but we had 10 pieces. In the second line, 
we had 600 but 60 pieces. So for both of them, system calculated as uh, it was related to total emissions, but system calculated what is carbon equivalent per unit. So this is the most important part in sustainability value entry. And then when you move back to item card, you will see that we had now new value in uh, carbon equivalent per unit because previously it was uh, 111, now we had 121 because we had additional 10 kilograms per this unit of emissions. So this is part related uh, to value chain and transfer orders. Again, this is just one piece of value chain functionality, so please watch another session, also sustainability and other sessions, but especially these ones related to value chain to get complete picture about that. So thank you for watching this video.